Yo, yo, what's up guys? American Mexican Gunslinger. Today we're going to have a special topic. And this topic's about, does the government really care about you? Does it care about its people? Well, honestly, I don't think so. Majority of the population probably thinks so. But a small portion, probably even a large portion of people don't think that the government is caring about its own people. Look at how Joe Biden is implementing gun laws and trying to ban certain things. Look at in New York, like they're trying to ban Glocks. And look how they put all these types of mandates for us just so we don't travel place to place and to be in contact with individuals who have a so-called, you know, illness that can be passed on through person to person, which obviously it's not true that you can do that because um, the only way you can get sick is by eating something that gets you sick. You have to either ingest it or it has to be injected into you. There's no ifs or buts on how, how these things work. It's like eat, like you're eating fast food all the time and you wonder, why did I get sick? Why am I sick? Maybe there's some in the fast food. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how do you get E. coli? You just don't get E. coli by touching it. You get E. coli by eating it, by ingesting it. All right, guys? But besides that matter... Does the government really care about us? Because when they did all those mandates back in what 2020, and all these people were getting locked up in their houses for the safety of the people, which I highly doubt it was for safety securities, and then they demand you to wear a mask inside the store, and these people were aggressively rude, totalitarian guys. Like, I used to go grocery shopping with my children back in the day when, in 2020, before the whole coof hit. And my kids would go to the store and be so happy going grocery shopping. And then when I, when that mandate started hitting, the mass mandates and all that crud started happening, they demanded my kids to wear masks and I did not want them to. They're like, no, well, you can't shop with your kids. Like, it was so evil so evil and the mandates that the joe biden has been doing lately like they've been talking about the fentanyl that's coming in this country they want to slow it down it's like like how can he slow that down it's a it's a drug enterprise that makes millions of dollars by destroying the american population with drugs flowing into this country. We have the manpower and the government power to stop this, but it's not going to stop because this is all manufactured by our own government, you guys. They take all these higher drug cartel people, all the higher ends of the people who are in charge of making these drugs, the CIA, all these government institutions that are ABC letter institutions, they're the ones that take them all out and they take their business and they conduct it their own way, probably more professionally. And that's the thing about this government is do they really care about the people? I, I say no. In my in my opinion, I say no. They don't care about us. They never will and they never have because they have their own benefits and their own agenda rising towards them. You know what I'm saying? When we when NATO is like we pay 67% of NATO, you guys. And and the rest of the countries they pay to be in NATO. So if we're putting 67% of our money into NATO, what is that even doing for us in the first place? Besides just lending some soldiers. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't see them bringing supplies to the United States and helping the homeless. I don't see them doing anything to encourage Americans 
to not be homeless. Like this is all an agenda. It's a giant agenda conducted by our government. And if you, if you can't see, I don't know what to tell you, you guys. That's why at the same time, these, these giant banks, these corporations, the government's in charge of, don't trust your money onto the banks either, you guys. Take your money out of the bank. I'm telling you guys. What banks do with your money is, you. let's just say you deposited $2,000 into the bank. Well that, gov well, that bank will take your money and use it to pay someone else or some other corporation. So your money is basically gone. They're borrowing it from you. They'll use your money. So when you want to take out your money, when the time being, you need it, they'll give it to you, right? And some banks won't give it to you. They'll be suspect. They'll give you, let me see your ID. Let me see this. Let me see that. Let me see this. And if you don't have all the credentials that they meet, they won't give you your money. So what am I saying here? That all these things are connected into one giant freaking loophole. It's like. This government, if it did care about its people, it would be helping its people. But no, they're slowly destroying us one person at a time by drug abuse, alcohol abuse, um, mindless entertainment, um, banning firearms or, or even putting high restrictions on firearms. It's like the, the NFA, the National Firearms Act. You know, that shouldn't even be a, a problem right now. That shouldn't even exist. If that didn't exist, because people say, oh, abolish the ATF. It's not the ATF. It's the NFA. The National Firearms Act. They should abolish that. The ATF is just doing their job. And I say, and I say this readily because they're part of the government as well. You know, the ATF wouldn't be going house to house killing people if the NFA was banned so stop saying abolish the atf abolish the nfa so we can have machine guns so we can have suppressors so we can have short belt shotguns sbr short belt rifles you know what i'm saying we can have hand grenades rocket launchers and a lot of people are like no i'm part of the second amendment but that's your problem with people that's the problem with people. You're not, you're not for the Second Amendment at all. Our founding fathers had giant cannons, explosives. You know what I'm saying? So it's like people who say I'm for the Second Amendment and say that word, but they're the problem. This is why things don't get done. This is why the government puts more restrictions on its people. The government, when they say, I'm here to help, majority of the time people are like, nope, I don't want that help. I don't. You know what I'm saying? So in the end, the government is not your friend. They're not your the person you talk to. They're not there to help you. They're there to retrieve their tax money. Because guess what? If you own property... If you own a, a land and a house and you don't pay your property tax, they can foreclosure your land, your property, and take it because you're not paying them their money. You get what I'm saying, you guys? So in the end, these government institutions are not there for you. They're not. They're not there to help you. They're not there to help us. They're, they're only there to help their pockets, themselves, and their agenda. Thank you guys for watching. That was my rant. I'm American Mexican Gunslinger. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I'm out. Peace.